Home, it's been a long time since we've been talking about sunny, gorgeous days. Meteorologist Lauren Casey's in for Kate tonight. And Lauren, the question is, how long will this beautiful weather last? <laughs> I can guarantee one day, Jess. Okay, yes. I've got one day to guarantee, but we'll likely see a few more as we head into the upcoming week. Today wasn't too shabby before we saw some of that rain and thunderstorm activity develop. We started off at 63 degrees this morning in Philadelphia. That was our coolest low temperature since June 18th. Felt kind of refreshing. 83 hours high temperature actually below normal for us. Our normal now 85 degrees and temperatures a lot of 60s on the board. We're at 67 in Allentown. We've turned over to clear skies after rain rolled through earlier this evening. 70 in Philly with a few clouds hanging on. 67 with clear skies right now in Wilmington and getting a live look at Center City Philadelphia. Didn't really see much storm activity. A couple of drip drops working on through throughout the evening. We did have a broken line of rainfall and thunderstorm activity move through the area earlier this evening, but a lot of rainfall this month so far has not skipped over Philadelphia. We're closing in on eight inches of rainfall for just this month. Just so far, that's nearly six inches above the normal and storm scan three showing us that activity that we saw earlier this evening really trending to move offshore, though northeastern Pennsylvania things flaring up at this late hour. Check this out in and around Scranton, Wilkesbury. Those storms popping on up, moving themselves towards Carbon and Monroe County. So you're likely hearing those rumbles of thunder in Mount Pocono. And those storms look to kind of cruise on by or at least pass to your north as we head into the next hour and two. A little dose of light rain moving through Cape May County that has since moved offshore. Had a little light rain at our Atlantic County beaches as well. And also... Delaware Beach is seeing a little bit of rain coming through and a rumble of thunder near Bethany Beach as we head into the overnight period. Going to keep up a chance of a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm in the forecast. Otherwise, partly cloudy, low temperature down at 67 degrees. And for our day tomorrow, beautiful. Some morning fog, then mostly sunny, 85 degrees with decreasing humidity as we head into the afternoon. But dew points right now, we're not dealing with oppressive humidity, but it's pretty sticky out there with dew points up there in the mid to upper 60s. Those will start to decline as we head through the day tomorrow. And we'll push back into the just a bit muggy category by Wednesday, likely in the pleasant category. And by Thursday, feeling a typically low humidity value, certainly by August standards, with dew points likely falling back well into the 50s. Checking in on the tropics, we're quiet in the Gulf of Mexico, have a disturbed area of weather though over the Lesser Antilles in the Eastern Caribbean, 60% chance of development within the next five days. This system looking much more organized, still well out by the west coast of Africa, but now a 90% chance of development within the next several of days. So we'll have to watch those in the coming days for potential impacts. But down the shore tomorrow. No impacts other than a lot of sunshine. 84 degrees, moderate risk of rip currents though, so do keep that in mind if you have the shore plans as we head into Wednesday. Some spotty showers and thunderstorms mainly south of Philadelphia and during the morning, otherwise partly cloudy. Thursday, a gorgeous day, so there's day number two guaranteed. Nice and comfy with a high temperature at 84 and closing out the week. Still in the 80s, just no 90s on the board and that's nice. We'll take that, I think. Yeah, 100%. Lauren, thank you.